Just quickly before this video starts, I wanted to give a quick trigger warning for anyone who has arachnophobia. Um, these spiders in this mod pack are horrifying. Like, genuinely horrifying. That's the best way I can describe them. So, I would skip watching this video if you have extreme arachnophobia. Um, you know, still listen to it if you want to. That's fine. It's just visually, they're horrifying. They're not nice to look at. So, just a quick warning there. They're awful. Um, so skip this video if you can't uh, deal with it. I don't know how to turn it off. So, uh, we're just gonna have to deal with them for this series, I think. Hello everyone, my name is Ethan, and today we are starting a new zoo for the millionth time. Um, and we are on a new mod pack, which I'll link down below, um, which is why it's lagging the hell. Um, but it comes... We're doing a 100 days video, and it comes with a quest book, a custom quest book, that shows you um, every animal to collect. So we're going to actually do this properly. We're doing a full checklist. And yeah, this is a 100 days video, so we're going to do days 1 to 5 in this video. Um, but let's, let's just get straight into it, honestly. Welcome to the zoo. This pack is all about building your own zoo that can have that can house every mob the pack has to offer. This quest book will guide you through the necessary steps to complete your zoo. Okay, let's begin with an introduction. While you're starting your regular Minecraft experience, we'll introduce you to the pack. Okay. Um, right, give me bread. Okay. N next, so how does this work? Hitchhiker's Guide to Zoology. Throughout this world, you'll discover many different creatures. They're organized in here as seven different categories. Land mammals, birds, reptiles and amphibians, insects and land invertebrates, uh, aquafauna, paleofauna, and myths and legends. It's your job to capture as many of these animals as you can and make an enclosure for them in your zoo. So I need to get some wood. Okay, this is fun already. This is exciting. collect some wood and then I should have, yeah, I should complete that quest. Uh, done. Uh, birch. Back. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got a rare hat grab. Oh, sunglasses. Well, almost. It's kind of, kind of on my face. Okay, next we want to get... Um, it's enough work moving myself around. There are several methods of transporting animals to get them back to your zoo. One, cages, jars, and buckets. These handy devices can be used to capture small animals. Leads. These can be used to lead most passive and some neutral mobs. And vine lassos. These can be used on all mobs, regardless of if they're uh, passive, neutral, or hostile. Okay. So we want to get a vine lasso is what I'm hearing. This is a fun way to do this, by the way. Introducing it to you as you have to gather your stuff. Much better than having to gather your stuff and then learn. Um, so I want to get Stone Age. Okay, I can do that. Let me actually make a wood axe as well. I think there's some exposed stone over here. Let's get the usual 16. I think that pirate ship is, is, um, is messing with me. Whoops, okay. Oh, I don't have enough wood. I think I left that tree up there just half. Just as a half accidentally. That's fine. Got this. Let's 
leather boots. Okay, and now we want here. This is primarily a building an animal collection ma uh, pack that will help you along to keep track of each animal that you bring to your zoo. It's then your job to build an enclosure, either just for that animal or by making a joint exhibit that is different animals that all get along. It's important to consider natural habitat and diet when building an enclosure for them. Okay, we got an iron knife and eight honey cakes. Next, um, when you are not out in the world exploring, you may want to generate chunks in advance using Chunky. The best way to do this is typing out in the chat, open chat using dr slash Chunky, stare at Minecraft overworld square x, y, x radius, y radius. Replace x and y with your x and y coordinates and replace the radius with whatever radius you want to pre-generate, recommended 5,000. This shouldn't have a massive impact on your performance, but do what's right for you and your PC. Okay, so we want to get some iron and smelt it. Um, with the leather boots are kind of cute. Okay, so we can pre-generate chunks, which I guess I will do in between videos, maybe. Or I guess I can do in a minute, because I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to stop uh, recording in a second so I'll be able to do it then depending it shouldn't be that bad because um, I've pre-generated chunks before and it's been fine but never that many so I don't know um, anyway we should be well I see exposed rock over here so let's go check this out let's see if we can get some these are cute pink clover. Okay. Let's see if we can get some exposed iron. Ah. Ba, 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 ba. I'm wearing like it's become pajamas now. It was a light pink jumper. It wasn't originally pajamas, but it's gotten a lot of stuff on it recently, and I'm after dropping a whiteboard marker on it. And I've got a big black stain down the front of it now, so definitely now only pajamas. <sighs> I mean, it's not like any of the other stuff was coming out, but like, I don't know, maybe it could have potentially come out. But now, that's not coming out ever. Okay. Fine. It's fine. Right, let me, is there really no iron? Whoa, a bunch of fish. Okay. A lot of copper. Oh, seagull. We want to stay away from them. They eat your food. Yeah. I don't think that can get out of the water, which is funny. There we go. Right, let me see if there's just a quick cheeky way in wouldn't require me fighting anything. Sort of. Okay. Let me see what's in here. Okay. A bunch of stuff. Bum, bum, bum. 
some iron somewhere around here, or there's a cave right there. We could just go into that if we need to. Just, just a quick peek in to see if there is any. Um, no, for some reason. All right.
Oh my god. 
not just one. It was, I'm almost positive that it was just one. Unless these two are cows up here.
genuinely actually awful. very 
very state of the island where we want to build our house first, I think. Just realized this thing isn't an island. Well, it's fine. This is a pretty cool area to have a, uh, a zoo. So let's go up here. I think we just set up here, to be honest. I like this place. Um...
quickly and maybe we can make it in time. 